Hello, I'm Keith Atkins and welcome to my video channel. Today what we're going to do is we'll be looking at how to set a cutting tool at the correct centre height prior to commencing turning. The tool we're going to use is a right hand facing cutter like that. It's high speed steel and we're going to mount it in the tool post. Lots of people think um, they guess it and uh, when you're experienced you might be able to guess it but I'm going to show you a simple way of doing it uh, without even measuring it. So let's have a look at the, um, the tool post. At the moment I'm having to juggle cameras around so I'm, I'm quite new to this video production so just excuse me. Uh, incidentally um, please put the like, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because I'm going to give you some more interesting uh, features on turning techniques as we go along. It doesn't, doesn't cost anything and you can also check out my website as well and uh, uh, you can also on the website there's a, uh, there's a section where you can just complete um, and you can join uh, my Clint's Academy uh, that's for people who want more uh, detailed uh, more personal instruction and things and you don't have to do that um, you, can still, you still get free uh, tuitions on my general videos but um, you, you'll find it, it's, it's beneficial okay so there are things there that you don't find here in the meantime, back to the tool. Uh, <clears throat> this is a tool post Whoa. in question. Okay, this is a standard four-way tool post, and we're going to set the the tool in this particular position here. Okay, and that's for cutting in in this direction. Towards the choke. So the, the thing to do, the best thing to do is to put the center in the tailstock and bring the tailstock down into play. There you are. There's the tailstock. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I've already put a center in it, a dead center, and we're going to line the the, the, the cutter point up with a center on the tailstock. And that will give us an accurate position to start with. So we can't get it just there like that. So if you could just un unlock the tool post and swivel it round. Oops. To this position here. Okay. We're not being, we're not be cutting in that position, of course, but it's just that we've got to get the point lined up with the centre there. <coughs> so if you look at it now, you'll see that the it's below, well below the centre height there. So we need to raise it up a bit. So we do the, the packing with. Uh, packing strips or shims so it's, it's always best to have one or two of these things handy in your in in your little tool cupboard so we have to set, guess which one we want and I think that uh, after these two I think this one might be better I'll try the other one anyway let's see I think that's a little bit high there so just a minute I'll put some more light on the subject here ah. try this one That looks about just right. So we can put that there. Check it again. 
Now, when you're setting the tools, it doesn't matter if you're slightly out a little bit. We're slightly above, maybe slightly below. In most things, it doesn't matter. When I say slightly, you can get it within a few thousandths of an inch by visual inspection of the of the cutting edge there and the point of the dead centre. You'd be surprised how accurate you can get. So I'm happy that that is okay. So what I can do now is to locate it in its position where it wants to be. I've done with the dead centre now on the tail stock, so I can slide that out of the way, and then bring the bring the tool post into the position I'm wanting it. Okay. So I shall just put it there, and then we need to clamp it firmly in position with the clamping screws. Now you'll only need to clamp it in two places, but we want to put a little piece of packing on top of the on top of this uh, cutting tool. So got another piece of uh, packing here, steel, and we can slide this this on. Uh, a thing about this cutting tool, I can just tell you, um, for people who are just starting off in in turning. This, this this is high speed steel tool uh, tool uh, material. It's high speed steel, and um, what it is <laughs> high speed. I mean, it's, it's <laughs> solid at high speed, but um, it, it's high speed steel comprises eighteen percent tungsten, and it's a much better material than the the carbon steels. There's a lot of cheap tools out and out. Uh, carbon steels it, they don't do they don't last as long these are a lot better and that, these are more versatile than the carbide tips that you see because the problem is with carbide tips is they're very difficult to sharpen so the manufacturer is designed to be thrown away it's okay throwing things away but the problem is you've got to re replace them with this kind of tooling you can you can re-grind them and re and re and re sharpen a tool and use it again so anyway, let's say in, in centre this one, I don't know if you can read that. Um, it says three eighths by four high sp HSS China. So it's made in China, but with, with this, I know this is a good tool. I've used it for quite a while, so you can get some good tooling. Uh, some of the other steels uh, tools inserts like this. They can be very expensive, but they last for years. They ought to last for years. I've had these for years. So you can put it on it protrude above the tool post approximately the amount of cut that you want. So, you know, you don't want to stick it out too much. Because it, if you do that, it loses its rigidity. You want to preserve the rigidity of it, you see. So, you can... Uh, I'll get a better view here. <clears throat> Make sure it's clean. I made sure it was clean before I started, so put this on here like so and clamp it over the over in within the limits of the the tool slot. So you're not clamping over and above it. Um, I always want to leave it at a slight angle there um, because it suits my purpose. And you'll get used to doing it how you want it. But this is a good a good start. So here we go. Clamping it there and clamping it there. It's always best if we can use some steel packing above it. Because it, it also gives it more support. We don't need to tighten the, the third one there. Uh, but we just sort of do it slack. And uh, spanner. That's it. And that tightens that. And there you go. So what we've got here now is a. The tool's all set up. <clears throat> you don't need to 
um, do anything else but you'll see this is a very quick way of doing it and you don't have to uh, well the other, alternative, the other method people use are they get measured them with rules and things like that someday and get the same it's 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 much easier as i say to use a sensor because it's harder to determine what the center height of the tool is from from that position there uh well i've been doing this a long time many years and that's the way i always do it it's quicker and um, so there you are <clears throat> it's an essential part of the prior to commencing turning that you do get the tool set up correctly um, there's different set settings also for different material but this is for, for general use you can you can use that setting and it'll do most things for parting off turning um, it's on running down to specialized materials uh, for instance if you're doing cast iron then you've got negative rakes and things like that and you might have it a slightly above the center or, or when you're boring internal bores uh, that could be uh, slightly above as well it doesn't really matter but we're going to be covering all these on our net, uh, future videos so uh, i think it'll be it's essential for you to please hit the um, subscribe button and then you can uh, not you'll not you'll not miss you'll not miss any future videos so i'm going to be doing quite a few of these posting them uh, regularly every month um so it's a bit shame to miss certain aspects out of it. There's lots and lots of things in turning um, that I will think of and try to include them in general videos. That's in addition to the uh, a, a more enhanced information you can get by joining the uh, uh, enrolling in Clint's Academy. But you, you do that from my website, which is uh, clint.co.uk. Have a look at that, you'll find it very interesting as well. And uh, you'll find that you can make different things. I'll suggest these things, what you can do. So, thank you for watching the video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. <laughs> and um, I look forward to presenting some more information from you again. So please hit the like button and subscribe. And in the meantime, till next time, happy turning.